Hello everybody and welcome to another EU4 exploit guide. My name is Landon with iSpire Gaming and today I'm going to be showing you how to pick any ideas in the game and give them to any one of the nations that have badges in the bottom of the screen. So for instance, if I want to have all military ideas as Castile or Brandenburg and get rid of some of these um, other ones that are nice to have, but um, you know, it could be, uh, could be more militaristic and give yourself a really really strong advantage um, or just do that as Castile start with the uh, no reason you pick Brandenburg Prussia is because you want to play the late game Prussia powerhouse you can give yourself all military ideas as Castile or Poland or whoever else and just dominate the dominate the game and it's not fair with the military ideas you can give yourself but what I would like to do is give myself this I may establish Siberian frontier idea as Portugal move my capital to the new world to rapidly colonize it and uh, have some exploit fun over there. So that's what we're going to be doing. How you do this is you click on the custom nation button in the bottom right corner if you have the DLC that enables custom nations. And then pick a province. It doesn't matter, but you should pick one within the borders of the country that you are going to be playing as because that auto populates the culture and religion fields in the custom nation be the same as that country. If you have a different religion or culture, you might find yourself um, having massive revolts in the game, which is not good. So make sure that these are the same. Tech group Western, best tech group, just keep it like that. Or if you want to change it to Western tech group as a different nation, do that because it's really, really strong. Um, after you've done that, go ahead and give yourself whatever ideas you want. Give yourself, um, you know, admin efficiency is really strong. They may establish Siberian frontier is really strong. Um, let's give ourselves all military ideas here as an example. Artillery combat ability, that's better in the late game. Um, we have the discipline in there. Uh, how about it? Do artillery combat from the back row. These are better late game things that we would be better down here, but for this purpose, I'll just put them up there. For good measure. Infantry combat ability, always strong. Let's do our recovery speed, really strong. About national manpower. E. Let's do land fire damage for the artillery in the late game, huh? Uh, shock damage would be nice too. There we go. And let's give ourselves some siege ability in the last idea. That would be pretty strong. So look, now you see that I have all of the military ideas. They wouldn't even let you play a custom. The game wouldn't let you play a custom nation because you have more than 50% in one of the attack group. Um, but we're not going to be hitting this done button. That's what limits us from, um, from playing like this. We're going to save the file. After, after, we give ourselves 666 stats for our rulers. The stats transfer over, but the traits do not. So you can go ahead and just give yourself 666 for ruler, air, consort. God forbid that case where both your ruler and air die. Um, and then we hit save. Embria, that's okay. You hit done, it wouldn't let you because you're over the, push, the nation limit. Custom nation point limit, excuse me. And then we hit delete. Then we're back to the main screen. Um, I've, you could go ahead and do this exploit without doing what I'm about to do, but I've experienced such inconsistency with doing that. I don't know what's coded into the game that's making it crash. I think the developers um, put in some crash mechanics into this because people were exploiting it in the past and giving themselves immortal rulers and stuff like that. They've since patched it. You cannot do immortal rulers anymore because the ruler traits are hard coded into the game uh, for starting nations. But you are still able to do this exploit. Um, by going through a few hoops. So, um, to avoid the game crashing and um, having a lot of frustration and having to relaunch the game and load it, we're going to go ahead and hit back. Go back to the main menu, um, refresh the game. This will stop it from crashing in the future. So once the game loads back up, that's when we can start the exploit. It's pretty simple um, procedure from here on. Just make sure that you hit the back button or go back to the menu to avoid the frustration of having the game crash, having to fully relaunch it and doing all these shenanigans that you don't really need to be doing. Just reset the game after you've saved the custom nation file. Go back to single player. Click the nation you want. Hit custom nation. Actually, you don't need to click the nation you want. That's I just did that out of uh, reflex. You don't need to do that. Hit custom nation. Pick anyone you want. It doesn't matter. Hit done. Now hold down the left shift and right click on the badge in the top right corner. Hit this interface GUI button. Do this twice. And that populates 
fields, um, these windows up here uh, several times. Once you close out of the first two windows, you'll see in the bottom right corner that the custom nation buttons appear. Hit the custom nation button, hit modify. Now that you've done that, you can cancel out of the rest of these windows. After you do it twice, you'll see these batches pop up in the bottom. And then you can click on the nation that you've selected. I've chosen Portugal as the nation I will be playing as. And then you hit load. Now, load the file that you saved. Um, the one I made was Coimbria, but I will be choosing the Iberian Frontier save file that I made previously to this video. Load it, and you will see that the ideas in Portugal have changed. I have in my uh, traditions and ambitions, colonists and settler increase with production efficiency for late game money. I established Siberian Frontier in um, my first idea so that after I colonize enough to move my capital to the new world, I can start rapidly colonizing with my Diplo points. I have admin efficiency and core cost reduction. It's really, really strong things for conquering land in the game. Go into Mexico. I have a number of states. You decrease the corruption from too many territories that you get for being a new world nation. A lot of territory. Uh, national unrest, just because it's a great idea to have if I'm just considering ideas. I could put a military idea in here, which might have been better, actually. But this is fine for a passive game. War cost reduction, which is really great. If you stack this with war cost versus other religions, you can really have a uh, sort of a Deus Vault Jihad type of thing going on and uh, really mess with the Muslim or Christian nations, depending on which ones you choose. And then discipline for the uh, power in the late game. That's what I chose. You can go ahead and click done. It won't let you because the custom nation you loaded has more. So but delete, and you'll see that it will ask you to delete Portugal. You cannot delete Portugal, so just hit OK. It happens. You see the custom nation is still here, which means you cannot play Iron Man. So hit custom nation in the bottom right. Hit modify. Hit delete. There should be no custom nations left on the map. Just to double check, we'll hit custom nations again. There are none. Cancel. Then go ahead and click on your uh, the nation that you want to play, and you'll see the ideas are still there. You'll be able to hit play. You'll be able to click Iron Man, and you can see that you can earn um, achievements. Which means, you know, you can have a, a lot of exploity fun um, with the ideas that you choose and still earn achievements and just give yourself a huge advantage, which is um, it's nice to have. Um, not necessarily, uh, you know, a fair advantage. Uh, you might get chastised for it if you, uh, you know, tell your friends that you're doing this on a regular basis. But, you can play. I'll just save over this file here. And as we load into the game, you will see that my ruler and heir have 666 stats. And I have all these new ideas, traditions, and ambition. While still being an Iron Man with the achievements available. His native policy. And my ideas are right here. With my heir being 666 and the Regency Council of Portugal putting a 666 as well. So about, I have about 14 years of 666 and then uh, however long uh, this heiress lives. Well, with that, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this exploit guide. Please um, use it <laughs> use it, and have a lot of fun. Um, this should work in 1.29 again and 1.30 after the patch drops this January of 2020. Um, and um, if you enjoyed this, please give a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I will be coming out with some more EU4-related content involving my Iberian Frontier campaign in the near future, as well as a campaign in which we give ourselves just a ridiculous amount of uh, combat ability. Um, and I would probably use um, steel or ottomans for that run just to um, give ourselves, uh, you know, the most amount of starting clay to go into ramping up the amount of damage we can output with our troops. So with that said, um, hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, see you next time.